I'm not sure if this is something, but in this large rock, <laughs> there's a little bit of what I think is bone sticking out. It's either bone or a bit of a crab claw, so I'm not sure. Oh, 36.6 kilograms. <laughs> a bit more than I thought it was going to be. What's that? It's about 75 pounds. No, it's more like 80 pounds. <laughs> Well, I've tidied up my prep room, so let's go see if it's another piece of bone in there or if it's going to be a crab. Well, the mystery solved at least. This is a crab claw or part of a crab claw. Hopefully the rest of the crab's inside there. And you can tell it's a crab or a crayfish. Uh, I'm, I'm suspecting it's a crab. It's got these little spikes at the bottom here. Got a very similar one here. So you can see these are the two claws of a crab sticking out the front there. And they're very similar, except for the color. They're very similar to that one. They've got these little spikes at the bottom. Yeah. Not what I was hoping for, but <laughs> at least it's a fossil. <laughs> That's a big rock to carry back for a tiny crab. <laughs> I'll put some B-72 over the top of it just to protect it. And I'll go put it in the queue to prep one day. But it's not, it's not high on the priority list. It should be a really nice complete crab. And beautiful colors. That's what fooled me mostly is that color. Um, like you saw from that other crab, they tend to be this really pale color. Well, that one's so nice and dark. It looked like the penguin bones that I found. Well, it wasn't another penguin like a hope, but it's gonna be a beautiful crab one day when I prep that. But back to the penguin, <laughs> I'm actually getting quite close to finishing this side of it, I think. I'll do an update on that pretty soon. Thanks so much for joining me on that little bit of detective work. I'll see you guys on the next hunt. Stay safe.